Hello there again and welcome. Ryan Nordahl here from the Epic Proving Grounds in West Central Wisconsin. Just out here doing an evaluation of my clover stand and one of my travel corridors, little kill plots, travel corridors if you will. Just before I mow it, you can see the white clover is about ready to uh, be mowed here. It's pretty well headed out. Um, the deer pressure in here has just been amazing. I mean, you can see a lot of plants have been nipped off. There's quite a bit of grass coming now. Um, so one of the best things that you can do, easiest things you can do, most inexpensive things you can do, is go in, mow your clover plots, your travel corridors, if you haven't planted a clover, chicory, what have you. Um, one thing that gets overlooked, though, is in all the Facebook and social media forums that I'm in, you know, when we're talking about clover and what people can do to control control weeds and stuff, you know, and they're asking about spray and what to use, and that's all great, fine and dandy, you solve that problem. But when you mow your clover, nobody ever talks about reapplying potassium fertilizer or phosphorus fertilizer if you need it. Here in Wisconsin, in this part of Wisconsin anyway, our phosphorus levels come in natural. They're excessive, highly excessive. So one of the only things we need to apply here on our clover and alfalfa stands, after we clip them, we clip them here in the spring, early summer. We clip them once again prior to the hunting season to get that regrowth. But nobody ever talks about applying supplemental potassium even if just 100 pounds per acre equivalent. It needs the carbohydrates to give it that boost to regrow, to add that protein value, feed value, RFQ, relative feed quality, which nobody ever talks about either, back in to our legume, legumes that we're trying to grow, whether it's clover, whether it's alfalfa, what have you. It needs those carbohydrates to build protein levels within the plant itself. I know I'm not coming off as the smartest probably talking about this, but to me it's common sense with my dairy farm background growing alfalfa and clover for, well, basically 40 years of my life. I'm 42 years old and you know, I've been around it my entire life. I grew up with a father that was an agronomist here at our local co-op. And uh, I think I know a thing or two about the importance of adding extra potassium. Again, after our first cutting, when we mow this time of year to control weeds, and then we mow again about a month or so prior to our hunting seasons. You want to add that at least I would say at least, but now according to your soil samples, but at least 100 pounds per acre of potash potassium fertilizer going in to the hunting season. It needs those carbohydrates, your clovers and alfalfas do, it needs those carbohydrates to store up as it goes dormant into the winter months. So that's my little take here. You can look up and do the research on your own. There's some great articles out there put out by your local extension office, um, your local agronomy department. Get resourceful, guys. It's not just about cutting your clover and getting that regrowth. There's a lot more that goes into it than we realize, those of us that haven't been around agriculture our entire lives, and we're just out here feeding deer. It's a topic that I feel and see that isn't being discussed is fertilization throughout the summer months after we mow. Now again, you don't have to do it after every mowing, but at least after the first mowing, and again, that last mowing prior to the hunting season. Thanks for joining me today. Love and appreciate you all. If you have a comment on this video, go ahead and leave one. You know, everything's a learning process for me. I have an open mind, and I don't mind constructive criticism. Give this video a like and a share. I appreciate each and every one of you for joining me and following me along on these videos.
Thank you so much. Happy habitat improvement.